The family of an 18-year-old who was crushed to death in an elevator claims negligence caused the deadly accident. The football player died in August after the elevator he was on malfunctioned. His mother has now filed a wrongful death lawsuit against several people, including the property owners and his school. Fox Eyes Brian Hill is live outside the apartment complex along Highland Avenue in Atlanta. Brian? Well, attorneys say the defendants named in this lawsuit either knew or should have known about the dangerous conditions of that elevator. I got a chance to speak with some of those those defendants and they either had no comment or say they were not working at the apartment complex at the time of this incident. And some say they had not worked here in years. We believe Jamarcus's death and this accident was foreseeable. Uh, and avoidable. On August 31st, 18 year old Jamarcus McFarlane died when the elevator he and other champion prep academy football players were on got stuck. The elevator had stopped at the third floor, but when McFarlane tried to get out, it fell, trapping and crushing him for almost an hour. It's the academy that kind of sets in motion the events that that led to Jamarcus's death. This wrongful death lawsuit also named the Clayton County School. They fail to adequately inspect the property, to adequately warn Jamarcus and his family about how, how unsafe this place was, and failed to make sure they held the owners and managers accountable. The other defendants listed in the lawsuit are the property's owners, managers, and service companies who worked on the building's elevators in the past. This is at 444 Highland Apartments in Southeast Atlanta. The family has been through a lot, but not only because of the death of Jamarcus, but everything that they've had to deal with that have stemmed from his death. During their investigation, attorneys for McFarland's family tell us they uncovered a years long history of the defendants failing to correct, repair, and maintain several aspects of the building, including the elevators. Well, our position is that had these elevator companies done reasonable workmanlike inspections and repairs and maintenance to these elevators, they would have detected and repaired this elevator. The state insurance commissioner's office previously told Fox 5 that the building's elevator was a year past due for an inspection. However, the building's property manager claimed the elevator passed similar annual inspections and it was not due for another five year inspection until 2024. McFarland's family also filed a second lawsuit against the Academy. We have reached out to the Academy's lawyers, but have not heard back. The family is also still trying to get a criminal investigation on this situation as well. Stay with us for any updates as we get them live in Northeast Atlanta. Brian Hill, Fox 5 News. All right, Brian, thanks.